Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, hi, my name is Vano. You guys, I'm so sorry I haven't posted here and I think almost like a month, that is my bad, but I am back. And today I'm going to be reviewing the newly released fragrance from Kaylee. It just came out yesterday. The new Eden Juicy Apple One. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. Like look at the bottle, you guys. I can't wait to give you all my thoughts and opinions and first impressions. But before we get into that, if you have not already, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I love having everyone on here and following the Dude Glam journey and give this video a big thumbs up and hit the bell to get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you wanna know all my thoughts and opinions on the new Kaali Eden Juicy Apple fragrance, then keep on watching. Alright you guys, well without further ado, let's just jump right into this first impressions and review of the new Kaali Eden Juicy Apple fragrance. So right off the bat, I am living for the bottle. I live for all the Kaali bottles, like I think we've kind of established that, but this is just honestly beautiful and great for the holidays. Love the red, definitely gives me holiday vibes and I can't wait to smell this. So before we jump into that, I'm gonna read off the featured notes. They are featuring first and foremost, juicy red apple, wild berries, jasmine, lychee, vanilla flower, and sensual musk. Now, if I hop over to the website here really quickly, this is playful and vibrant. This succulent scent is a tempting mouth-watering fusion of crisp and juicy red apples, sweet berries, and fresh floral notes that will keep you wanting more and more. Bursting with attitude, discover the power of this modern fruity floral fragrance that will have you addicted at first spritz. Mm. Now, when I watched Mona's video on this, she really described this as something that took her back to her high school years, something that she would think that like share from Clueless would wear or Elle Woods. She also mentioned Britney Spears. So very much like that kind of late 90s vibe, like when all of those really kind of sweet, sexy fragrances were up. I'm kind of getting that vibe right off the bat. Those were definitely not up my alley then. They're not up my alley now. That's not something I would normally gravitate towards. I'm almost wondering if this is gonna smell something like, um, what was it, Curious by Britney Spears or like some of Britney's early fragrances also. Yes, she freed. So I can only imagine that Eden Juicy Apple is gonna give me those similar vibes. And I remember a lot of the girls back in the day in high school, like they really, Love those like Victoria's Secret body sprays. I think Bath and Body Works had some too. Wasn't there one that was really popular that was, um, oh, it was Cherry Tree. So I picked this up in the 50 mil. This is what it looks like. It did release in all three sizes. So they have the 100 mil, the 50 mil, and the 10, which is super cute. I'm assuming it's probably gonna come out in the rollerball as well, but I'll just give you a comparison right here. This is the 100 mil, this is the Elixir. This is the 50 mil with the Eden. And then here we have the 10 mil, and I believe, what's this one? This is invite only. So these are what the three sizes looks like, just so you can get a comparison. And I have to say, Elixir is one of my favorites from Kayali. This one, Musk, Vanilla Coco, and invite only are like my go-tos. I love mixing those. Now, before I spray this, I just want to let you guys know that I'm not going to dive into the description and the make. Oh, by the way, this is what the box looks like if anyone is interested. It has this beautiful red foil on the side. But if you wanna know more about the development of the fragrances and all my other Kaali reviews, I will have them linked above as well as below. So you can go check that out there for more in-depth review on all the other fragrances in Kaali. So without further ado, let's go ahead and spray this. Wow. Okay, that is super fruity. Let me go ahead and spray some on my arm here. Right off the bat, I'm really getting a lot of the apple. Definitely, like that is the star note in this. I do smell the berries and I also smell a lot of the lychee. It's super, super fruity, you guys. I'm gonna give it a second to dry down and we're gonna see if the vanilla and the jasmine and central must start to pop out. But right now, I mean, the whole studio just smells like apples. Both of these have apple in them. They smell completely different. If you're looking for something that's a lot more fresh, you would definitely go with Elixir. If you're looking for something that's a lot more sweet and succulent, it is definitely here in Eden. But both have apple in them. The apple is very much front and center in this fragrance. So if you're definitely someone who loves those sweet, fruity scents, this is right up your alley. I really think that this reminds me a lot of Britney back in the day with her first fragrances. If you think like Curious or Fantasy, Midnight Fantasy, those were all very fruity floral fragrances. Now, I just wanna compare something here. I am gonna spray Elixir on this arm and smell what the difference is. Yeah, so this is definitely much more fresh. It's just like super fresh cut apples. And this side, it's like super sweet. Fresh, sweet, 
fresh sweet. Eden definitely has a lot of those old school vibes like the body sprays, but the difference is when this starts to dry down, you really do get a lot more of that musk and vanilla. I think that's really where it rounds out. You might get that first burst of like that old school vibe, but as it lingers on the skin, it develops into this much more rounded out, sensual, juicy smell. Whereas the other ones, especially the body sprays, like they lingered, they were done, and it was very one note. You can smell, again, with all the layers in here, and that's not the first time I've said this about Kelly fragrances, and what I really love about this brand so much is that you can really smell every layer as this fragrance opens and develops, and now I'm really starting to catch a lot more of the vanilla and amber in here, and makes it a much more seductive, sexy smell as it stays on the skin. But I just feel like this is something that is totally much more of like a summer vibe. Like you've got the two companions here. You've got your winter vibe here and you've got your summer vibe here. Mix them if you want to. Maybe we'll get like a good spring and fall vibe. Who cares? Again, fragrance is super, super personal. Mona, congratulations on another fragrance added to this beautiful Kaali collection. And congratulations on all of the launches that Kaali has had this year in 2021 alone. This is what, four, five? Like that's honestly amazing. I'm so happy to be here and reviewing this again. I had so much fun today. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Definitely check this out if you are someone that is interested and loves these kinds of fragrance families. They are beautiful and it is definitely something that Kaali has been missing. They are very sensual, very sexy, and this is like the super young, playful version of Kaali. And if you know someone who loves these type of fragrances, definitely check it out for them for the holidays. It might make a great gift. Well, that's it for today's video, you guys. Thank you so, so much. I know it's a little bit shorter, but I figured I have so many other videos on Kaali as well, too. I really want to just touch on the main notes and just like the biggest vibe that Eden gives off. And I hope I provided that for you today. And if you want all my other thoughts and opinions on all the other fragrances in Kaali, definitely check the links above and in the description. They're all listed there. So go on a do Glen Kaali binge. Again, thank you so much for watching and I hope everyone is staying safe out there and I will see you in my next video. All right, bye.